out barely uh, at this point, yeah. so make sure you get out there. And right now we've got our last round of 16. Is uh, whoever goes down here will be at 13th place, uh, trying to make it into that top eight qualifier. All right, I'm excited to see how it works out here. Both of these teams, I'm pretty excited to see. I'm uh, I got a couple of the players to say the least, but right now it's the blue team holding down center stage. Some big hey. hitboxes there. Ooh. Seeing a return of Boldvar. We saw a little bit of Boldvar earlier. Wasn't uh, it wasn't making oh. huge differences, but <laughs> Rayman is someone we used to see all the time. Even uh, even with the the loss of him as much, you still have to worry about his pressure all the time off stage, and you better be careful with it because he finds those ground pounds and those there so easy. Yeah, that one was just a little pickup off of one straight hit, immediate response, go over the ground pound. And Fernanda is looking for some more right now, but Blue Team says, "Slow down, please." Fernandez always having good access to quick recoveries. You can have that oh. GC neutral sig if you ever want to make it back. And hey, Fernandez uh, gonna strike first with not one but two. Yeah, Fernandez had that whole recovery scouted out. Really good option to cover that sort of long range route. But good response. We finally got Gabriel taking a stock back and another one too. Blue team trying to keep it close right now. Only Lazuli taking a little bit of damage. That'd be pretty good. And we saw some, uh, last last game, of course, was a little bit more one-sided, but in our previous matches, we've seen a lot of really close ones here in South America. And at, the, at least for the very beginning here, it's looking at very, very similar to that same thing. Definitely, definitely. Neck and neck right now, splitting off into these 1v1s. Blue team kind of getting control of the ground. Big opportunity, but good dodge. Only right into another big hitbox for the blue team. Oh. Side air won't be enough to get the close out just yet. Navarro's gonna make his way back just catching the very end. Yeah, you gotta still chill. Do not jump up directly into that D6. That's the last thing you want to have happen. Okay, another nice little combo there. Really good pickup from Gabriel. And what a what a hit. Didn't expect that one to work out so well for Lazuli, but really good stuff from Blue Team. Gonna ride the momentum as long as they can right now. And just missing that stomp stare. I mean, you you did, I think the lead is borrowed time it feels like yes. at the moment because uh they oh actually never mind fernando's gonna get the one but it was looking a little bit frightening for navarro up in the skies for a second there and that's actually what still played out you left uh Lazuli alone and kind of able to piece up navarro's now he's got to get rid of fernandez uh excuse me he's got to get rid of one of the two of them asap <laughs> right right it's gonna be tough right now though can't really get any opportunities when they have all of that coverage the rocket lance so Ooh. good at holding down the stage and that hammer is not something you want to mess with when you are at this amount of damage as well Ooh, good job staying just underneath that ledge if that was a poke up any higher that side light connects and that's probably a sare but well, instead fernandez fernandez man wow fernandez has been right in the middle of everything so far that recovery will finally put a stop to that but fernandez had absolutely no fear even off the side of the stage go for that double up sare earlier got hit out with the stuffed recovery and still kept going yeah, there were some really fantastic options, some some brave choices too, to say the least, but they were all working out for Fernandez. Finally though, like, you know, you can only guess right so many times before the other team catches on, especially when you really only have one opportunity to make a mistake at that damage. They were definitely ready for it. A really a good showing still from what usually would be a foregone conclusion. Fernandez still keeping it close. Yeah, and uh, that, actually something that wasn't really paying too much attention before scarlet being one of the different changes of an actual lance in kind of the whole tournament this <laughs> to today uh it's been a healthy dosage of olgrims uh, orion but we haven't really seen this and uh, the orb didn't really make a huge difference oh excuse me the hammer didn't really make a huge difference in that last match so see if navarro could pick it up yeah we'll see i mean the hammer is definitely a very good tool we saw gabriel use it great effect so maybe red team can take some notes right now though we finally got one. Ooh, oh, that was Ooh. a rare miss yeah just barely missing the stomp there i think it's because uh they did it on rising into the gcd lights uh, but did not get the full pop-up that they were looking for we're looking for another one right now good hits from red team good stuff from fernandez and this is putting in a lot of work. The Varl trying to get a close out there's a side light near but does get punished for going directly above ogrim Yep, cannot get caught there. Olgrim was ready with the, the steel chair, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what yeah, it's the made D out of. The D6 smack both ways. You got an axe and you got a chair. I feel like ah. it's cheating, just maybe. <laughs> a lose-lose, honestly. <laughs> the, the, why, the ref was looking the other way. I have, yeah. I have questions. 
the chair is fine. The axe? I don't know. But oh, speaking of the axe, Fernandez looking for another quick stock. Oh, but... I I kind of like what Navarro was looking for there. Like you yeah. you expect the panic dodge in, so you go for the D sig, but. They had so much covered. It still ends up working out somewhat. They're still able to put damage on, but Fernandez does end up losing his first stock because of uh, that drop. Ooh, a nice route from Lazuli, keeping that off-stage pressure, turning it in. A nice little follow-up on stage. Fernandez trying to answer back. Lazuli on a pretty rough amount of damage right now. Yikes, in a rough spot, too. Perfect weapon toss, actually. That might have uh, made a big difference at helping out the the red team instead of the blue team. But Fernandez barely, though. AG, he keeps getting so close to closing it out on Lasley. Lasley just won't get hit by the final hit. Right. There we go, finally, Cider, though. We saw so many combos fall just a little bit short, and that might be the difference maker. Fernandez, though, holding on to this second stock, just as Gabriel is, but oh, the hammer just makes a liar out of me so fast. Yeah, the Sayer is so quick, it kind of ruining any uh, story buildup that might be happening. He's like, oh, well, build combos, pressure, eh, the hammer side. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. And the sword outranging the gauntlets there, working out for the blue team as well. A lot of damage getting tacked on. Yeah, three neutral lights in a row, unchecked, uh, just because Navarro couldn't get through. Yeah, I mean, the sword is a, a ranged weapon when you're going up against something with even less range than it. But, ooh, okay. I like that pickup. Little, right, little team damage. This is a good chance. If they can somehow sneak this out on Lasley, but the down air. Yeah, that's going to go ahead and get rid of Fernandez, and Navarro's not able to get underneath there. That was their big opportunity to try and maybe take that match back. Yeah, unfortunately, though, although it was close, that 11th hour just working out for blue team in a couple of unfortunate red team exchanges, but really good showing, still keeping it close, as expected, but blue team just found those opportunities and found those finishers, which is where red team was lacking ever so slightly. Yeah, as we approach that final tick on the clock, will that glass slipper actually fit or not? Will you be able to continue this run? It's not been the easiest so far for Navarro and Fernandez, but a very common theme we've had, I think, for at least maybe 80% of the matches. Uh, game three, everybody yeah. picks it up a ton and usually ends up going in the favor of the uh, team that's down 2-0. Yeah, I mean, we've seen so many of it. I'm almost expecting another game or two after this one, but we'll see. Blue team looked just increasingly comfortable. So red team's going to have to make some adjustments, but we definitely have seen them make some micro adjustments. I I'm, I'm, wouldn't be surprised to see a macro one too. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, the biggest thing is just finishing their food. They, they get they right. get the table set. They get maybe one to two hits, but never the big hit. And uh, Fernandez has been able to do that a ton. Navarro has been able to find one or two here or there. But Navarro's got to be able. Navarro's essentially got to oh. do what Fernandez has been doing this whole set. Right, right. Well, uh, honestly, maybe uh, you know Fernandez can just do it twice as much. Just kind of what we're seeing. <laughs> True. Here. Going for plenty of big swings, finding some of them right now. And there's that hammer finally going in. More Navarro trying to make a statement here. That would have been big right there too. They actually had a good combo follow up going, but the nair from oh. Hammer actually didn't pop up enough to get the side air. There's Navarro falling. Uh, Fernandez's defense has been perfectly fine when two of them are jumping him though. So that's uh that's been a really good thing so far for the red team. Right, right. Good damage here as well. Uh, Gabriel's been finding some really interesting pickups though, and it's definitely been the difference. For, like even right there, Lazuli, another good pickup. It was just like looking like two innocent one v ones. All of a sudden, now blue team favored. Fernandez trying to make a play. I will uh, give credit to Navarro actually surviving that whole situation too because all you took in that was basically a sword and air. Well, it could have been a whole lot worse. Somehow still holding out to the stock too. Gabriel's going to fall. That's one. Can they get rid of Lasley too to make it a three stock to one? Uh, actually, basically an even game. Oh, there it is. All right. Okay. Now, if for some reason Navarro can hold on to the stock, it's looking even better for red team. Obviously a tall order considering the lineup the blue team has, but so far, they're kind of making it work. Navarro was able to find a, uh, a couple quick strings in with the Sair before us, but now Stomp Sair. Wait a minute, Navarro looking for the side light off on the side. Lasley not going to get hit by it. Fernandez getting the breakup. That's going to finally get rid of Navarro, but some damage at least was done for the red team. Right, another Stomp Sair coming in from Gabriel to try and break it up. And is going to have to try and make it back, but Gabriel kind of lets the ledge free trying to help out the teammate here 
everybody. Just hovering, <laughs> just trying to duck your head underneath the rockets that are inbound. These lances have been a massive threat, even here on Apocalypse with that soft platform. Nice pickup. Right. And a good response, but it may be too little too late. The real does have two stocks, but a lot of damage on that one. Makes that an easy sell. A one across the board, but a 2v1 for red team is exactly what the blue team fans were looking for. If, I, if I'm feeling confident about the red team's position here, it's the fact that Fernandez has been winning in these 1v1s against Gabriel a ton when they've been separated. And now you have that backed up along with Navarro's uh, sidelights and the Nair. As long as you don't hit each other, uh, which is happening a little bit, but they're still putting damage onto Gabriel. That's the most important thing. Right. Ooh, okay. That's a really good hit as well. See if they can force the issue. A really nice route from Gabriel. Let's see if we can get another creative recovery. Jump around the neutral light. Just make sure that you do not get reckless here. That's the most important thing. They get the pop-up off the uh, Nair follow-up again. Stop Sarah. Won't be enough, but Gabriel has very much so brought this all the way back. Oh, unbelievable. I do not feel as comfortable for Red Team as I have before. Those stairs from Gabriel were phenomenal, all three of them, but that Neutral put him in a rough spot. There it is. The weapon toss out. Gabriel did get hit. Okay, all right. I was curious if Gabriel actually had enough resources to get back after that weapon toss, but that is not the case. That was so close. So close to being a 2v1 when he was deep in the red, taking that back. Uh... And they were able to hold on to it somehow. <laughs> yeah, I was not not too confident any team was going to take it at some points. Like, I thought I was like, oh, nice, easy two v one for red team. And like you mentioned, there was a little bit of team damage, but mostly still attacking the other team. And then the two v one comeback was looking so very real too. After that third side air came out from Gabriel, but still brought it all the way back. Really good stuff. And going on to the next game, feeling probably pretty confident. Yeah, I've definitely been feeling pretty good about that because you, you, even though you lost that game, you were able to essentially bring it back at the end. You're already up 2-1. Uh, so far, the, the story of the weekend has played out, though. <laughs> Once right, again, right. we're up 2-0, and everybody wakes wakes up in game number three. Yeah, I mean, you just have to get some coaching and just say, you know, all the coach has to say is play like it's game three all the time. You know, all the teams <laughs> would be going crazy. Imagine every match you are facing elimination. Right, right. Boom. <laughs> Which does work uh, for some. Uh, but currently, it's, it's seeming like they had enough gas to take for that third one. They need to get that car restarted soon because the blue team is answered back very quick. Yeah, not a lot of damage on the blue team stock. Still, you know, looking pretty fresh over by Gabriel's standards and Lazily. A little deep in the red, but oh, what a pickup. <laughs> I feel, uh, Fernandez is just in the middle of everything all the time. Like, there, right. there's never never a moment where Rayman isn't Ooh. swinging at everyone. But unfortunately for him, that was not how he wanted to land. Blue team up three stocks each. They both might fall to pretty much any hit right now. But this is a massive lead. Yeah, I think that was uh, their wake-up call last game. And said, so, you know, hey, we already got the first two. Let's walk it home. You know, take this set. No more messing around. And they came out swinging. They found some... Fantastic pickups, and they finally get some time to breathe over on red team, but blue team definitely coming down, trying to take these last couple stocks and move on. That yeah, if I, spot. if I am the red team, my biggest thing I'm looking for right now is I want that neutral. I, I want a neutral light starter to bounce into uh, Navarro to be able to get a quick side sig punish off the side of the stage or maybe a ground pound from Rayman. That's your one big play you have to get stocks on both. You need a quick team combo. And for the blue team, it's like, well, how about that just never happens? Because if we separate the two of you, then there's no shot you can be able to line up that team combo. Exactly. And even when separated, if the team's fast enough, you can capitalize on those openings just like that. Fantastic pickup from Lazuli, and the pressure is not stopping anytime soon. That just might do it after. Oh, no. Okay. I was. That was weird. Yeah, very, very close uh, to barely catching that D Sig, but they still covered both sides very well. So even if you somehow managed to get around that panic dodge situation, you are standing directly on top of Gabriel, who is now going to wait for you to try to press a button. And if you somehow hit Gabriel, you have incoming Macho Man. So incredible.